Hi, Sally here, and I am finally getting this video done that is for my one little word for the May prompt, and the prompt was to take photos of what your word looks like in photographs. So this first photo here is, well, my word is believe, and so this photo is like planting things, you know, you have to believe that they will grow. And so I planted some flowers and I took a picture of them and it's definitely, I need to believe better because I usually kill them and yes, I'm afraid that those lovely flowers are now all dead. But anyway, I am backing all of my photos on this pink paper and I printed all of them with my sprocket. So they're just these little two by threes. And then I am using my IM, mostly six by eight pad and some stickers. And then I also have the Good Vibes six by eight pad. So I'm just finding some fun stickers to go with this photo. So I realize I take a while to decide things when I was, editing this video, but hopefully you don't mind just watching me make decisions. <laughs> I love these teeny little hearts. They're so cute quite a few of those. So that one is done. And then in the pocket next to it I am going to do my journaling. So I chose this pretty butterfly paper but it was a little short so I'm going to find something to extend that paper because I hate empty space in pockets. So I don't like the way those look together. polka dot stripe was not cut properly on the sticker paper, so I have to kind of fiddle with that a little bit. Just cut it away from those tabs above it. <clears throat> so I do like the way that that looks. making a mark and cutting that away and I think I trim it up. Maybe after I put it on the little card I trim it up. Nope, I do it before. Putting that at the top. Trimming off the sides. And that looks just about right. Now I'm doing something that I don't recommend you do. I am putting in that with the sticker uncovered and it rips and gets stuck and so yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> Make sure you get the back of your sticker cover before you put it in your pocket page. So I, for this corner pocket, I'm using this pretty floral and stripes. That will be where my journaling goes. I wanted to um, use both sides of each piece of paper, so it made it a little bit harder for my choices because sometimes I like one side but not the other. So I have to do a lot of thinking and fiddling and deciding, so I'm trying to decide again. And I think I go with this. Yep. Oh, again, just backing that photo on this pink stripe. 
which I've had forever, so I couldn't even tell you where I got it from. So this picture is of my church hymn book, and they always help me believe I just love music and singing hymns. So that is a good representation of my word believe, I think. So just using this cute butterfly washi to extend this card to go away. And I don't know why I keep putting the paper underneath the page protector. If I just put it on top of the page protector, I could tell. <laughs> I think maybe eventually I realize I need to put them on top. Just gonna wrap it around for the other side. I think this washi tape is part of the I Am collection too. This is the first Simple Stories I Am collection. I know they have a new one, but I have this first one that came out. So here I am trying to get this card out after putting it in with the sticker, which is challenging. So as I say, not a good idea. I guess I thought it wasn't as sticky as it really is. So anyway, no harm done in the end. It just made it more difficult than it needed to be. So I'm trying to decide if I want this floral on the other side. I want the polka dots again. And I guess I decide with the floral. It's, good. it's a floral and floral, but I think with the different size prints, it looks okay. So this is my declarations that I say in the morning that help me to believe that I can achieve my goals. So they're hanging on my bathroom mirror, so that I had to, that took a little while to figure out how to take that picture without showing my phone, but I think it turned out pretty good. forgot to put on my stickers so just once again trying to decide I love that little bird and I really wanted to use it somewhere but it was just a little bit too big maybe I'll find another spot in this project to put in so once again choosing the little hearts So this was a picture of a really lovely um, sunrise, I think it was. And just knowing the beauty in the world helps me to believe that I am loved and that God is there and looking out for me. So that is why I took that picture. So just choosing a little flag. stickers some little flowers So 
So that is my first page. I had already decided that that paper can go there for my journaling. So I took eight photos and um, I'm just using two of the four configuration pocket pages. So that's just a picture of me in my mask um, to kind of represent that I believe that eventually things will get better but for now you know I'm trying to believe that there's lessons I can learn and something good will come of this time that we're living in. So I am using this pretty little floral to extend that paper because the papers are six by eight but the page protectors are just a little bit bigger than six by eight so I can't quite use uh, I should say the six by eight papers are just a little bit shorter than the page protectors so some of the papers I have to extend a little bit to fill the whole pocket where I want to put glue and I have my little granddaughter watching me so if you see her little arms or any toys or anything that's her she thinks it's fun to see her things in the camera so photos to be in the same places as the first page was, but I don't think I end up doing it that way. Of course, the cute little hearts and that staying positive worked well for that photo. Because sometimes it's just hard to feel positive when you're wearing a mask, but hopefully, it won't be a whole lot longer that we have to wear them. Oh, I guess those stickers are from the Bliss Simple Stories Bliss collection big sticker sheet. I forgot about that. Kind of wanted to be able to see those flowers a little bit better, so. But I want that paper kitty corner from the picture, so. putting the photos underneath each other. So this is a picture of my scriptures. And I feel that really represents the word believe. And it always helps me have more faith. Finding all the little 
little hearts. I was gonna try to put that behind that word because I felt like it needed a little bit something more but I decided it was okay as well as it was so then I just put more of that stripe and that floral in the top for my journaling just gonna trim it down a little bit at the top so it's kind of poking out I put that in the opposite way of how it was before, so I guess it was at the bottom. My little heart had come off. Just putting that in the pocket. Decide which paper I like the picture on better. So, this is a picture of a storm, and so I was kind of thinking of like look for the silver lining in the clouds and just believe that through the storm you can learn and grow. accidentally hit slow-mo instead of speed up. Sorry about that. Choosing another cute little banner, another cute little circle. I thought these little sticker packs were so cute, but I love anything tiny, so that makes sense. I need more of the hearts. This is my last picture of me praying, so that's pretty obvious about belief for that picture. So 
So I'm just strategically placing my photo to cover up those words. And then using one of the larger stickers. And then I got out my ephemera pack and found this pretty floral. some more hearts. I liked the idea of this compass, but I didn't think it quite worked. And just decided to keep it a little more simple. Trimming off the edges. Oh, there's a little heart that fell off of somewhere. And another little heart that came off. stay on. So I decided to glue it. And that does it for all the photos, except for these little hearts. Just decided they didn't want to stick very well. So for the month page I cut out this cute camera on my Cricut and then cut out this quote that I borrowed from somebody else in the group to put on it. Well, it says when life gets blurry adjust your focus. I thought that was a super great quote for this month's theme. So I'm using Glad Press and Seal to use as transfer to transfer this uh, vinyl. So when I designed it on Cricut Design Space, I didn't realize that some of the letters, um, when I welded them, there was still some black space in, like the G and the Y and stuff. But I thought it looked good enough. I was okay with it. So just slowly peeling back the backing paper off the, the vinyl. And it actually worked really well. So I didn't want to use regular transfer tape because I was afraid putting it on paper that it might rip. So I ripped the paper, I should say. So I'm just using my tape runner to stick the camera on the card. I'm using um, a square, two squares uh, page protector. I think there were three inches. Realizing I lost a letter and it was stuck to my finger. I think it was the Y and blurry. So I'll just stick that on after. super tiny so it was a little bit challenging to get that down on there but I think I finally figured it out I 
There we go. And then I wanted to put something in the middle of that heart, so there was that cute buffalo check heart that fit just right. There's a cute little circle with the camera, but I decided, I think I decided that that was just good enough. And then I cut out the digital kit. Uh, I printed the month on vellum. And I wanted to use this little tag, but I think it looked funny with the, the twine sticking out the way it was. So I put that one in the front instead and be the joy, I think it says. So then here is my book and I found this great camera paper to do my divider with. And I'm just going to use these pink stickers from Simple Stories to write my word. I'm going to stick them on my ruler to help keep them a little straight. Well, I still didn't keep them all the way straight, but pretty close. A lot better than just sticking them down eyeballing. Is captured and got to use that cute bird and a camera. So here's and then I'm going to do my journaling. I typed them uh, in Word perf Word with the typewriter font and just I'm cutting them into little strips and then I'm going to glue them down. Just um, aligning the right edges. So just using my art glitter glue. Those was I just did them on regular um, printer paper. So kind of had the description separate from like believe I said believe looks like and then have the description down below so I left a little gap so here's the completed pages in my book. So that does it. Thanks so much for watching.